Moving to Canada is not without challenges. Upon relocating to this new place, there exist many complex pressures, worries and barriers for newcomer families. Often topping the list of worries is that of the welfare of one's children. Providing for them and their successful future is often a central priority of immigrant parents. This being said, schools can ease the worries of caring parents simply by opening the lines of communication to newcomer families and by creating an atmosphere in which regular communication is encouraged and promoted. तो सबसे बड़ी जो हमारे देने टेंशन होती है वो ये होती है जॉब की कि हमें फौरी तौर पे यहाँ जॉब मिल जाए और हमारे रहने के लिए जगह मिल जाए सही फिर उसके बाद हम ये सोचते हैं कि अपने बच्चों के अब जरा स्कूल की तरफ तवज्जो देते हैं तो स्कूल में भी अगर अच्छा बिहेवियर रहा टीचर उसका तो हम मुतमिन हो जाते हैं फिर मतलब हम अपनी एक सोई से अपनी जॉब की तरफ लग जाते हैं अगर जॉब भी मिल गई तो फिर सारे मतलब हल हो जाते हैं और नहीं तो अगर स्कूल में भी मतलब रास्ता नहीं हो रहा है सही से बच्चों के एडमिशन का भी प्रॉब्लम है उधर जॉब का भी प्रॉब्लम है उधर रहने का भी मसला है तो ये सब मिलकर ना देने टेंशन बढ़ जाता है तो अगर थोड़ा थोड़ा ये जल्दी जल्दी सेटअप हो जाए तो ये इतना हो जाता है Communication between the home and the school is beneficial and results in families feeling relieved and more secure about matters related to their child's education. When communication is overlooked or not prioritized, parents may feel as though their role and concerns regarding their child's education are regarded as trivial or inconsequential. Еще у нас была проблема с одной учительницей. Она позвонила, сказала, что дочь что-то там не сделала, вовремя не сдала. Когда мы с ней поговорили, мы все как бы с ней сделали, и, и мы ей позвонили, что, что нужно, чтобы как бы решить эту проблему, чтобы она не потеряла время, там, поинт и так далее. Она сказала, что сделать, потом она сказала, что все хорошо, но мы попросили встретиться с ней. И, и, и переговоры продолжались на протяжении полутора недель, но для нас времени так и не нашлось. जी बस वो हमारा साथ मसला सिर्फ ये था कि हमारी बात उन्होंने नहीं सुनी थी हमें असेसमेंट वालों ने जिस स्कूल में भेजा था उन लोगों ने मेरे बच्चे को एडमिशन नहीं दिया था दूसरे स्कूल में भेज दिया था बात नहीं सुनी थी सिर्फ हमारी एंड आई वुड गिव देम एन एडवाइस ऑलवेज कीप इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद द पेरेंट्स आई नो वन टीचर डज दे ऑलवेज कॉल बट सम डोंट कॉल यू नो जस्ट मे इवन वंस अ मंथ यू कॉल अप एंड सी वेल आई एम the uh, my you know so John's teacher and I would like to know a call to say hi mm -hmm. and the parents should also sometimes go to the school and say hi yeah. how is my son doing mm -hmm. is he behaving or because you know kids might say yes sometimes yeah. they do something around the teacher don't even bother mm -hmm. to tell you because they fed up yeah but you know if you keep in touch with each other mm -hmm. sometimes a little phone call you know Five minutes. Yeah. Everybody busy. Five minutes won't work. Yeah. The structural environment of the school has a significant impact on parent-school communication. When comparing communication at the different school levels, an observable pattern presents itself. At the elementary school level, there is much more effort placed on involving and communicating with parents, while at the secondary level, it seems as though communication is limited to formal meetings such as parents' night or whenever there are problems that need to be addressed. ولكنهم <تصفيق> كلاس كده دي سنتها الساعه اللي جر أو ما أنت محيس ما يسوق قبل ده ده محيس ما يقول كي ميدل سكول كمر كان تجي وحي هذي نا أوفيس كويك هذا هاي سكول كنا وابينا بالانس ما يستيد بق أتصور واحد تيد أبالانس ما يستيد إن يجو مور إلى لنا يا المها براي في سجود الدنيا إلى أي حد هو إسويتيا إن ولي ويجو هذا تو سؤال إيت هاي إن إلى أي حد dad badan iyo macallimiin badan oo waweydi marka elementary ga is more welcoming the parent in a modern school middle school ka wuu ka waxaysna laakiin still uma gudbi kartid galaasida ilmahaaga dhigtaan macallinka toos uluma xidhiidhi kartid ila xafiiska aka waxaysid high school kana waaba kasi adagta 
So sada the stage we are, okay? So high school is more difficult than any other yeah, level. Some parents are only contacted when there is a problem and their only communication with their child's teacher is when they receive negative news. This creates a negative relationship which perpetuates worry, insecurity, and often even fear. Um, and, and if they're hearing the same messages at mm -hmm. home and at school, mm -hmm. I just see it as, as twice as likely the messages they're going to take right. and, and serve kids. And, and so I think that, and I think probably the other reason that a lot of high schools get lost when it comes to parental involvement and tend only to involve parents when there's trouble uh, tends to be the size of them. I mean, mm -hmm. if you look, the majority of high schools, I mean, uh, you know, some of them are 2,000 kids. You know, that, that's pretty tough. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as we've said here, we're, we're a relatively small high school with, um, you know, around 700 kids. Mm -hmm. Parents overwhelmingly want to get involved in their children's education. They want to communicate. While some parents have the ability and confidence to seek out, initiate, and maintain communications, others do not. The issue for many parents is they often believe that their child's success is largely their responsibility. They take their role in the process very personally. We must actively open the lines of communication. To assist them to get involved, there has to be an active effort by teachers and the entire staff to make the school a comfortable place for parents and teachers to communicate. I find that uh uh, in the school where I am, the secretary will take them around to the class for the first day, the child and the parents, so they know where it is. And I assume that happens in the other elementary schools too. So they're quite comfortable, and I al always um, tell them that uh, I'm there to interpret and that it's very important. The teachers are welcoming <coughs> if you want to know about something. And so that brings them into the school so they're able to go to the uh, child's teacher and um, find out more about what's going on. You know, they're getting their agenda or not doing their homework, the, you know, the homework mm -hmm. word. And um, definitely calling them and informing them that, you know, I'm there for, uh, for them for interpretation for a parent-teacher interview, especially the ones in November, which I think are the most important ones. It is important that teachers and staff encourage parents to get involved with the school. Both parents and school personnel need to work together to build a relationship. Both need to work on opening the lines of communication and getting the relationship rolling. He so. was very approachable and um, he would uh, spend time um, doing uh, all kinds of social events to get the parents to come in. And, actually get the community involved. For example, he would ask those great great grandparents and their um, aunts and uncles that would come in and they would, um, for those occasions I remember very well, they were making egg rolls in the kitchen mm -hmm. and helping with the lunch program. It was very free and open and so they uh, felt really wanted and needed and they participated in a lot of these um, activities that um, he had promoted for the community. So it was, uh, uh, remember we had those little uh, um, uh, fun fairs, but it was for the community and all the parents participated in it. They uh, uh, took um, some onus to uh, help run the programs. So that was, it was really uh, um, sort of um, a relaxing and a sort of happy time that the entire family would enjoy. And it was um, the, that's where the open doors uh, policy made it um, really comfortable for all all the parents to come in, the uh, immigrant parents. So that was um, important in that respect because he welcomed um, everyone. And he, we had what we called um, what do you call it? Uh, welcome for uh, the parents uh, who uh, did not speak the language and he would get interpreters from the settlement and everywhere to come in. I guess one thing that we've worked hard on is to um, have volunteers within our school. We've encouraged many, particularly moms, um, to work within the classrooms in whatever capacity they can. And what we found is that some come with very little English, but will do whatever you ask them to do. And it's an opportunity for them to, they're actually learning English while they're here, and they're becoming more familiar with the kinds of schooling that their child is experiencing. 
and much like you would think anywhere else it encourages they go back and say oh you should come it's quite good and and so <clears throat> over the years our volunteers have the, has really increased um, because they're finding it um, a good place for them to be and for them for them to learn about the difference between education system, for example, in Russia or in Israel uh, from Canada uh, makes some kind of difficulties for parents to understand how to take control of their kids. Uh, because, for example, in Russia, all parents, they received some kind of weekly report from teachers about uh, student marks about their behavior and they feel uh, updated and uh, they feel that they can influence every single day uh, to their kids. Here uh, they experience this different system and they would like to take control but they can't get enough information. Uh, this is the main problem. Mm. Uh, mm. uh, uh, mm. uh, 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 Tajo 嗯, From the school perspective, communicating expectations of parents is key. Parents new to a society which they may know little about and sending children to a school which they know little about. The school needs to explicitly inform parents of the different expectations, roles and responsibilities that they have of families and explain what parent involvement means. How, for, for example, uh, we Somali <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
，成绩又好，又每天做作业，嗯、又会、嗯、又肯弹钢琴，都是没事儿吧？这没事、嗯，他将来一定会自己走好的。嗯嗯他，他们是走这样，对，他就白人、嗯。他们是觉得，他也对呀、啊，对呀、啊。啊，他的女儿呢，不去上课，不去什么的，哎呀，他慢慢吃会好的，他希望他慢慢吃会好的，<笑>感觉简直就是不一样。对对。So、what advice might you give to、um, a parent who seeks you out because he or she is having difficulty relating to the teacher of his or her child? I would ask for a meeting one on one,、mm -hmm. and to sit and and talk about it. Yeah. And then if that didn't work, I would go to the principal、mm -hmm. and see how it、yeah. plans out. That's good advice. And you have to learn to listen. Mm -hmm. Like probably some people cannot get across because as soon as the teacher, the principal says something that hits them, they don't wait until the person is finished. They start to talk to them, you know, so it、mm -hmm. causes a problem. So like sit and listen to what the person has to say,、mm -hmm. then the person will listen to you. Then I think you'll get whatever you have to say will come across better and understand each other. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. And talk calmly. Don't get upset because、mm -hmm. when you get upset,、mm -hmm. you never say anything nice.、Mm -hmm. yeah. So you always end up not getting what、It's、you went there for. Yeah. 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 Yeah.